Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And you guys are already aware that the United States struck 85 different targets inside of uh, Syria, Iraq, uh, amongst other places. But what you may not be aware of is that, of course, that number was in retaliation for the number killed. As we reported already, roughly some 80 uh, U.S. troops were killed in the Middle East on four different base attacks that were launched there. And when I said uh, in retaliation for the those killed, we actually are getting reports also that Syria also lost six soldiers on that on those base attacks, and they're vowing to retaliate for those as well. Seems like though the U.S. has already done the retaliation whether or not it's 80 or 79 U.S. troops that were killed there in the Middle East. Nonetheless, a lot of things are escalating, including that of American troops going to be sent over to uh, the Middle East as well. Now, this article here uh, came out on the 15th of January. It is an Arabic language uh, article there on Euronews and uh, saying that 1,500 soldiers to fight against ISIS in Syria and Iraq, America making the preparations for that. I got intel today, though, that in fact, yes, we are sending troops to the Middle East into Syria, no less. Not only that, though, that the Chinese and the Syrians have already been collaborating together. And the collaboration, especially in light of the fact that we're sending troops over there, seems to tell me it's not just as the report that we had here um, let's see here, not that one there, but uh, let me find the right report. I actually have a report in here. We go, I believe it's this one right here. Yeah, China and Syria signed three cooperation documents. That was last year in September on the Silk Road Initiative and amongst other uh, cooperations that are being done between the two nations. We know that China strongly condemned the U.S. Uh, strikes on different targets after they lost their own forces. Of course, the U.S. claiming three, so three uh, soldiers were killed as a result of those strikes. But as anybody knows, military always downplays the number of casualties when you're dealing with a war-type scenario. But anyway, I'm hearing through intel circles there that uh, one, uh, U.S. is definitely beefing up. They are sending more troops into the region there. And, uh, and also, I'm getting other intel saying that troops are being put on standby notice. They are also being uh, getting ready, including the United States Air Force soldiers are also being put on standby notice. They're getting ready for deployment to the Middle East there. Everything is beefing up. And then on top of it, now Biden is approving more money to Israel, some $14 billion, along with Ukraine getting a chunk of money as well. Looks like war fronts are being beefed up on every direction you can possibly imagine. So I wanted to kind of update you, give you a little bit of update on that. We haven't been doing much on news issues here lately, uh, mainly because I've been feeling more uh, pressed to speak about uh, spiritual needs in a time of true uh, spiritual anxiety that we're living in today. Uh, anyway, so I will be continuing to update you. I still am very concerned about the ongoing war in Israel with, with Israel continuing to just totally obliterate the Palestinian people. Uh, of course, they're always saying that the, the Hamas militants are hiding behind the Palestinians. So therefore, you got to kill all these kids in order to be able to get to the bad guys. It just does not make any sense whatsoever. And I know, for one, clearly violating the law of Moses, clearly violating that law. And God is not going to sit back and, and sound the drum beats and, uh, and play the anthems for Israel. I know that Israel's, the, 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 the Israeli citizens that are against this war, against uh, the people of Gaza, are also being called traitors to their own nation. Can you imagine that? So much for democracy, right? You're a traitor now if you don't stand for bloodshed. It does sound very much like Herod is on the loose once again. Kill all the babies. Let's, let's, get, let's make sure we get Jesus after all, right? Nobody ever thinks about it like that. Oh, no, as long as we're getting Hamas, 
We don't care how many kids they got to kill, right? That's exactly the way people seem to think. How messed up is that? After all, Herod was only trying to get to Jesus. He was just looking for that one little child, the one that would challenge his authority of king of Israel. Well, that's really what it comes down to. Somebody's trying to challenge the hegemony of Netanyahu. So make sure you kill as many Palestinian babies as you possibly can along the way. I mean, this is absolutely disgusting. Listen, one thing I do want to mention real quick, too. There is a, uh, a couple here. Let me pull it up on Twitter there. Um, uh, inconvenient facts. Uh, uh, this, this man right here, let me see if I can pull up... Uh, something on if i can find something here i want to get to actually to his channel mm. gosh i'm not very good at knowing how to do this type of stuff anyway uh, we've got to find it though uh inconvenient facts there he posts quite frequently there his wife is in critical condition and uh, uh she is I can't really say what happened to her uh, because you know the censorship and how that goes. I, I, maybe I can do like this. Maybe I can just find a clip where he's... Here we go. Here, I don't know that's what I sent to him. Mm, gosh. This is frustrating when you want to get to somebody... Okay, I know what to do. I'll type in the name of his uh, channel here. Uh, anyway, in here we go right there. Um, this couple here, she is in really bad condition. And I know somewhere on their Twitter page, Inconvenient Facts, they do have a, a some type of a fundraiser for the medical costs that they're going through. Um, you know, I want to encourage you to be praying for this family. And if God lays on your heart, uh, I'm sure you can find it somewhere on there. I'd seen it at one point there. Uh, but I don't know what happened to it since then, though. But if God lays on your heart, you want to help them, uh, please look them up. Inconvenient Facts there on Twitter there. Uh, it's a very, very, very uh, story that just will break your heart to hear this. So anyway, lovely family there. And so God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benun. You're, you're watching Israeli News.